when it was first brought in, we had an idea of what the goal would be, but we had no firm plan, that's for sure, as to how we were going to develop the technology uh, to bring it to the stage that it's at today. Uh, we had a plan, a basic plan, that we would need to um, extend the production of the encapsulated cells that we are going to use within that technology, but we did not know exactly what our goal would be, exactly what the clinical trial would be, and now we have a handle on all of those things. I've been in the cancer business for 50 years, and I've been involved in developing a lot of decent drugs, and some very good drugs and work with some very good people. And this technology to me has been a revelation. And it is completely different from anything else I have ever experienced. And to me, it presents an absolute new way to treat a very difficult to treat tumor. Here we have a cadre of patients that are virtually untreatable. They respond to a certain degree to frontline treatment and then can no longer respond. And there they sit with very little option for further response. We hope that and firmly believe that our technology will allow them to respond and not only will their tumors be reduced in size and therefore their life be extended, but in some cases and maybe many cases, the tumors will be reduced to the point where they become operable. We are dealing with um, a cadre of patients for which it's, it's essentially an unmet medical need. That clinical trial design was developed by and large by what I consider, and, and it's my opinion and the opinion of many, by three of the world's best pancreatic cancer specialists. And they are involved deeply in the planning of the clinical protocol. One of them is going to be the principal investigator for this clinical trial. It's a multi-site clinical trial with major clinical sites around the United States being involved. And right now, we have more and more as we go, as the days go by. It was designed the way it is simply because we we had to find a way to treat patients that would, had never been done before. There were numerous treatments for this cadre of patients, but none of them, none of them gave very good results. They gave maybe partially beneficial results. They were nearly all associated with side effects. But here we have a chance to have very good results with minimal side effects. And you can't, in the cancer business, you can't ask for more than that. Well, it's important for pharmacy because it'll put us, on, put us on the map. I mean, think about this. You have pancreatic cancer. It's one of the deadliest forms of cancer in the world. Not in terms of absolute numbers, maybe, but in terms of deaths uh, versus diagnosed cases, okay? And, uh, you know, if you're diagnosed with pancreatic cancer, chances are that you won't live two years. 95% chance you'll be, be dead within two years. We're, we're trying to take the, get these patients at an earlier stage when their tumors have not yet spread but are inoperable and we are trying to treat them
at that stage. And if we can do that, we can save some of these patients and maybe a lot of them. We don't know that. That's why we're doing the trial. If we knew it, and it's the same with every clinical trial. Why do you do the trial? Because we don't know the answer. We do the trial because we want to find the answer and prove the answer. And that's why we're doing it. And I've, I've been involved in a fair number of clinical trials in my lifetime. And I have never been more confident about any one of them than I am about this one. I mentioned that the three of the, what I consider the best pancreas cancer people in the world, Dr. Daniel Von Hoff in the US, Dr. Matthias Lohr now in the, uh, uh, at the Karolinska Institute in Europe, and, and Dr. Uh, uh, Manuel Hidalgo in, Bo in Boston now. And uh, Dr. Hidalgo, I, I may have mentioned earlier, is going to be the principal investigator. Dr. Von Hoff has been involved in the development of every drug that's been involved in the treatment of pancreatic cancer. And Dr. Hidalgo trained partially with, with, with Dr. Von Hoff. And Dr. Lohr is well recognized in Europe as being one of the pancreas cancer experts in, all throughout Europe. And he was the principal investigator for the early clinical trials of this technology that were done in Europe that gave us the initial indication in a few patients, 20 total, 20 plus total. And uh, that was the initial indication. But you can't go to market with 20 plus patients, okay? So with that, we were approached by Dr. Von Hoff. We didn't approach him. He approached us. And that, to me, said everything. 